Hey, Princess Ham Middle School Panthers. Remember uh, we had all those caterpillars earlier uh, in the year? And we had some of those really large green ones that were there. We had some Luna moths and some Polyphemus. So, well, it's time uh, some of those to emerge. I was going to bring them back into the classroom. I've got one to show you tonight, and then I'll release it tomorrow night. I'm going to let it get a little warmer outside. So uh, let's take a look at uh, this Polyphemus moth. So these are the uh, cocoons from last year. Uh, over here we've got uh, these are these larger ones here. These are the Cecropia moths. Uh, these uh, this is the largest moth in North America as far as the wingspan is concerned. So um, you know hopefully we'll get some of those emerging pretty soon. Uh, some of the other ones that are in here, the smaller ones, probably Luna's, could be some of the uh, Polyphemus. But uh, that's what's emerged for today that I'm going to show you is one of the Polyphemus moths. So let me turn this around here and get it open in a second. There we go. So and there's the Polyphemus moth. It was hanging up top earlier when I first uh, moved the uh, container over so, so we could get a little video of it. So I'm gonna try to get it up onto my hand. Sometimes it'll uh, crawl up there without flopping all around. So I'm gonna try that. There we go, all right. And this moth is real, it's not plastic. Uh, so you can see, let me get in the light here. These eye spots, these are false eye spots there. Uh, that would be to frighten a predator away. So a lot of times uh, if their wings were slightly folded and a, a bird were to come along and start trying to maybe peck at it, it would whip open those wings and show those eye spots, which would scare the predator away. So that's, a, that's an adaptation, one of those things we've been talking about. The underside is just more of a, of a, a duller brown, a little bit of patterning there. Um, when these are hanging in the trees, uh, like this was earlier, hanging upside down, they actually will look like a dead leaf. So they also have that um, adaptation of camouflaging themselves. So let's go back to the top side here. Lots of neat coloration, real pretty pinks. A uh, little, little bit of a bluish marking right around the eye spots there. So the uh, antennae for this are uh, very slender. So this is actually a female polyphemus for the silk moths of which this is in that family. Uh, the males will have those real feathery antennae uh, or antennae that uh, they allow um, the pheromones from the female to be picked up with. So, but this one definitely female with those slender antennae. Uh, antennae is just plural for antenna. So antenna singular. Well, there you go. That's it for today's lesson. Uh, be safe out there, and as soon as I have more emer moths emerge, I'll take some more pictures.